Okay, we are going to put together a yearbook cover right now. So you need to open InDesign and you're going to go to File, New, Document. You're going to put the number of pages to three. You're going to change the width to nine and the height to 12. You don't need to worry about columns, but you are going to set the margins to zero. So all of your margins on this project, you're basically not going to have any. And then you're going to click OK. And right now you should have a page here and then two pages right there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to turn these two pages here into one three page spread. Here's how I'm going to do that. I'm going to click over here on my pages palette. If you don't have the pages palette, you're going to go to window and go to pages. And then it should pop up right over here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this number one over here in my pages palette. So I'm not working over here. I'm working up here in my pages palette. I'm going to take this. Oh, I forgot to do something first. My bad. Here's what you're going to do first. Next to you see the pages right here and you've got these four little lines. I'm going to click on that and you're going to uncheck allow document pages to shuffle. Then you're going to take this number one and you're going to drag it down here until you get that bracket. There's that white little bracket there. So that's what you want to get. And then you're going to let go. And now you have one, two, three pages across. So you're going to do that. Now this is going to be your cover. But the problem is, is that this middle part here, this is the spine. This is way too big for a spine. So we're going to fix that by going to this right here where it says edit page size. After we click just the middle one. So we don't want all three of them. We don't want it to look gray like this. That's bad. You want to click off of that and just have that middle one selected. And then you're going to go to edit page size. And you're going to go down to custom. And you are going to change the, you're going to name it spine. And you're going to change the width to two inches. And then click OK. And now you have a spine. That's all you have to do. I want to remind you that this page on the right, this is your front page. So what I do when I'm designing yearbooks is I draw a text box right there and I put a little reminder to myself, usually in a bigger font, make this a little bit smaller and I put it right up at the top while I'm designing so that I remember this is the front right here. Okay. All right. Then in case you have forgotten how to type on a path, because you're going to put information along the spine, like the volume, the name of the yearbook, issue number, whatever. The first thing you have to do is use your line tool. It's under the T. Use your line tool and you're going to draw a line right down the middle of your spine. But I'm going to hold shift while I do that because if I hold shift, the line will be straight. So I do that. And that's my line. And then I'm going to click on the T, but I'm going to click and hold so it shows type on a path. And then I'm going to watch for that little plus sign that pops up. I'm going to click and now I can type on a path and I can select it. I can make it as big as I want. If I need to hit spaces, whatever you do there. Okay. But that's how you type on a path. So that's where you'll put all your information on, on your spine. So remember the right side is the front of your cover. Here is the spine. And then the left side is the back. And that's all there is to it to making the basic setup for your cover.